Hello YouTube, Kaz here, and today we're going to talk about greases, oils, and lubricants. Their applications, purposes, the, and uh, basically, uh, you know, what to use where. Because in the airsoft community, I see a lot of people using the wrong grease or lubricants. And, uh, you know, uh, it's just... Apparently, it's something we need to talk about. Uh, this guy right here. Let's see if we can... Yep, silicone oil. You know, uh, this is pushed so heavily in the airsoft community. And there's a reason why. But uh, it's not always the right reason. So, uh, you know, let's talk about its pros and cons and applications real fast. Since this is really kind of uh, the whole reason I'm even making this video. Silicone oil is made for non-metal to metal or plastic to plastic uh, applications, okay? And that's, you know, non-metal to metal and plastic to plastic contacts, okay? So, why is it so heavily used in the airsoft community? Look at your all-electric guns or your AEGs. Their internals, their gearboxes. Those are plastic gears, plastic teeth, you know, so plastic to plastic. Well, that's what this guy's made for, you know. Uh, organic grease, say, uh, you know, take molly uh, lithium grease, you know. Uh, let me get this lid off here. You know, it's definitely a grease, it's not an oil. It has a uh, higher surface viscosity than uh, the silicone oil, which means this ain't going to spread around as much. Uh, this is also made, you know, for uh, high pressures and metal to metal contacts, you know. So uh, let's skip on over to say something like a bolt action. Now, you know, uh, if you have a plastic top hat and a plastic spring guide and obviously a metal spring you know you're going to want to put silicone oil on the plastic and because the spring is sliding around inside a steel sheath you're going to want to grease that up that's for metal to metal this is for non-metal to metal all right you know let's look at the outside of the bolt action is that something we want to use silicone oil on? No, that is definitely a metal to metal contact. So, again, the proper grease is not silicone oil. It would be an organic grease that is made to do that. Now, you know, we have something else here, you know, and this is like WD 40s and things like that. This here is obviously CLP break free, and it's a cleaner lubricant and preservative. What would we use this for, Kaz? Well, let's look at our trigger. Now, our trigger has lots of little springs and metal connections inside there. You don't really want to open that up and grease it up. That stuff's a pain in the ass to put back together, and if you lose one piece, you're buying a new trigger. However, you still get condensation and moisture and, you know, dirt and grit and, you know, other foreign objects fucking flying up in there and stuff. So... Something that's pressurized like this is ideal for your triggers because not only will it lubricate them and keep everything working smooth in there, it will protect them from rusting or corroding away. And it'll blow little dirt chunks and shit like that out and keep everything moving smoothly. So why is it important to know what grease or oil or lubricant to use on what parts? Because the more you know, the less you'll be redoing it. Take a gas blow back pistol this is going to blow away a lot because it doesn't have a surface retention as good as this it's not made for metal to metal this is so if you're putting the right grease on the right parts you're not going to be doing it as often and you'll have better results that last longer 